Okay, so for this video, we're going to talk about very simply or very uh, um, quickly the empirical probability. So this empirical probability is uh, one that could say uh, a frequentist approach, wherein the probability of a certain event is equal to the frequency or how many uh, have uh, did that event already happened um, in the past or in the previous experiments, divided by the total number of your um, sample space. Okay, so again, or the total number of trials uh, in some cases. All right, so again, the probability uh, of a certain event is equal to the frequency for the certain um, event to happen divided by the total frequencies in the whole distribution. So that is um, for some uh, definition. So let's have an example here. So in a sample of 50 people, 21 had type O blood, 22 had type A blood, five had type B blood, and two had type AB blood. Um, before we start with the questions, you can, you can actually try and add. 21 plus 22 is going to give us um, 43 plus 5. That's going to be uh, 48 plus 2. That's going to give us the whole 50. Just to double check if we don't have uh, complements, okay, uh, which is outside um, these four blood types. Well, actually, we only have these blood types in reality. So find the probabilities um, of A, a person has type O blood, B, a person has type A or type B blood, C, a person has neither type A nor type B, type O, sorry. Again, a person has neither type A nor type O blood, and letter D, a person does not have type AB blood. So let's start with the solution in this problem. So, so I'm going to write the solutions right here, over here. And we will start with, of course, the letter A, of course. So A. So in A, we want to know uh, the probability uh, that if I'm going to get a, a single person in this uh, sample of 50 people, um, what's the probability that he or she have a type O blood? So the probability, I'm just going to call it O, is equal to the frequencies or how many O is this are there in this uh, situation divided by the total number of frequencies. So we know that there are how many O's are there? 21. So this is going to be equal to uh, 21 divided by 50 and simplify if needed. So we can see in this case, it's already uh, simply, uh, it's already the lowest form. There's no common factor uh, between 21 and 50. And this will be our answer for number one. You can put that in decimal if you want, but fraction will be, uh, will do. Okay, so let's continue um, for letter B. Um, I'm going to write it over here. B is the person, a person has type A or type B blood. So probability of A or B in blood. Um, we can write it in symbols if you want, if you're, if you're uh, aware of the addition rules. So the probability of A union B because or is union and union uh, usually or uses the, the symbol or the operation addition. So we want to start how many A's are there divided by the total plus how many um, type B's are there over the total number of, of um, samples. So this is going to give us how many are type A. So we know that it's 22. So we have 22 right here um, over 50 plus how many are type B. So type B, there's five of them over 50. So we're going to simplify that. That's going to give us. 27 over 50 um, if you can if you can simplify you must but i believe this is the simplest form and that's our answer for letter b okay so let's start with letter c now um c here let me write it there c is a person has neither type a nor type o blood so we can write that in words first as in p of a neither a nor O blood. Okay, so uh, we can write it as in this form. If if you um, if you want probability of A complement uh, union. Sorry, not B. O complement like that. So the probability of uh, A complement. Uh, o complement. Uh, okay, and I will write the the symbol here. 
um, f or the frequency of a over the the whole total number of frequencies plus uh, the frequency of o over the total number of frequencies of course this is not uh, correct we're gonna put a, uh, a complement there and to make the long story short since we have the we're asked uh, the probability of a person has neither type a nor type b that actually gives us you know if we're gonna analyze that it tells us that indirectly how what's the probability that a person has type b or a b got it so again if we're asked to find the probability that a person has neither type a nor type b blood we're indirectly asked uh, what's the probability that a person has type b or type a b so in fact uh, we can rewrite this uh, question here in such a way that it will become b plus the frequency of a b right it makes things simple um, since we haven't uh, started with uh, addition uh, rules so we can make use of this you know uh, thinking of it intuitively so we're going to start and find the answer f of b is equal to 5 we're going to write it there of course that's going to be over 50 plus f of a b is equal to 2 so we have 2 over 50 um, that will give us the final answer of 7 over um, 50 and that's pretty much our answer for letter c okay all right so we can we can already we can uh, then continue with our letter d um so just take this much space so the person does not have type a b so um if you're gonna think of it it's just indirectly asking us what's the probability of that a person has type o or type a or type b so uh, if you're asked the probability of um not a b well depends on you uh, you can actually use the the complement the a b complement of course this is not multiplication but this is an a b a b complement so you can use the answer like one minus how many a b's are there so there are two of them so you can write it as two over uh, 50 so um, we can actually answer this this can become like uh, 50 over 50 and then uh, minus 2 over 50. This will give us 48 over 50. Of course, we want to simplify that. Okay. And the other way is just, you know, indirectly, this is, ask, this is asking us what's the probability of O plus the probability of A plus the probability of B, because O, A, and B are not A, B. So that's actually the, what is being asked here. So we know that O is 21 over 50. We know that A is 22 over 50. And we know that B is 5. The probability of getting A, B is 5 over 50. We want to sum them up. That's pretty much going to give us 48 still. 48 out of 50. And that's our final uh, answer. Uh, not really that final. We can simplify that and make it 24 over 50. And that's our final answer. And this one, this cannot fit our screen. So um, that is the answer. So, sorry, not 50. My bad. 25. So let me write this again. 24 over 25. And that's our answer. Okay, so that's it for this video. We pretty much uh, had this this problem here and i hope you learned something here uh thank you very much and see you in the next one bye